Did you know Jimmy Smith, who made the cornerback of his entire career with the Baltimore Ravens and a squad member that won Super Bowl 47, made his retirement from the NFL after 11 seasons? In this video, we're going to share with you the reason for his retirement and every detail that's been shared about it. So stay tuned and keep watching. Let's begin. Firstly, what made Smith take retirement? Smith, 34, explained to Josina Anderson that he was quitting because his body needed a break. After four great years at Colorado, Colorado, Smith was taken by the Ravens with the 27th overall pick in the 2011 NFL Draft. He led the Ravens to reach the Super Bowl when they played the San Francisco 49ers and quarterback Colin Kaepernick in just his second season. With back-to-back -back stops at the goal line and a breakup of what would have been the game-winning touchdown in the closing seconds of the fourth quarter, he even contributed to a number of the game's major moments. Smith's career was significantly impacted by injuries. According to the Ravens' website, Smith missed at least four games due to injury in seven of his 11 seasons. His performance in 2015 was significantly impacted by a season-ending Liz Frank injury he sustained in 2014. He missed five games in 2016 due to back ailments and a severe ankle sprain. Near the end of the 2017 season, he suffered an Achilles tear. Despite struggling with an ankle sprain, he managed to play in 10 games in 2021, even though injuries kept coming for the rest. He was a free agent at the end of the 2021 season and wasn't signed until the 2022 season, but he wasn't in a rush to find a job, as he admitted on the team website before the end of the previous season. Instead, he was content to simply be with his family. Up next, what he said about it. Near the close of the previous season, Smith stated, I've got three boys and now a daughter. With the boys, I can start introducing sports to them now that they're old enough. They're starting to act. I have time to consider issues in the long run. I'm not in any particular hurry to get to work. It's good that I don't have to. Do I even want want to put my body through anything like this again. It is part of it. I, therefore, treasure these final games. I'm becoming older. I've experienced a lot of injuries, and they begin to add up. So what does the coach say about Smith's retirement? John Harbaugh, the head coach, revealed last Monday that Jimmy wanted to play. He would find a way to get there one way or another, and all the way to the finish. That is the thing you've always valued. He used to play football, and football players loved the game. So I can tell you that when he was there, I was happy. Even if he wasn't always at 100%, his 80% or 90% performance was still superior to almost every other guy's 100%. That is very telling. Up next, what made Smith proud? Smith said he was proud of how long he played and that he never left Baltimore, even though his first play as a Raven resulted in a severe ankle sprain. He expressed last Monday that he felt a loyalty to the team and wasn't sure he wanted to retire until this precise moment just now. Smith admitted that he cried when watching the Ravens' eulogy video on Monday morning. He had already missed the flights home from away games, the locker room with his teammates, and the coaches who had helped him develop into a family man. These sort of relationships and friendships that make football so beautiful are formed, according to Harbaugh, by the companionship that we had and the opportunity to kind of grow through all the different things that happened, the good things, the tough things, and the crazy things. In professional sports, to finish where you start is lovely. General Manager Eric DaCosta stated, many guys never have the opportunity opportunity to do it, and I'm glad Jimmy had the chance to do that here during a Baltimore Raven. So was there any other issue except injuries? Smith's issues go beyond just injuries. After an NFL investigation discovered evidence of threatening and emotionally abusive acts towards his ex-girlfriend, he received a four-game suspension in 2018. Because of Smith's predicament, the Ravens were compelled to honor their commitment to avoid signing players with a history of mistreating women after releasing Ray Rice as a running back. However, the group persisted, claiming that Smith was taking the right steps to improve. Smith said that he had grown from his expulsion and was now living a more stable life. Up next, who was there for Smith under challenging times? Harba, the only NFL coach he has ever played for and a steadfast supporter of his abilities, was one person who remained primarily devoted to him. Harba remarked, We've spent a lot of years together, his entire career ever since he came in. I work with the secondary and the corners a lot, in any case. Thus, we have have discussed various topics, including family, football, and other topics. Jimmy has always been a person who values the opinions and counsel of others. I actually cherish that relationship a great deal. So whom did Smith receive loft praises? After an 11-year career with the Baltimore Ravens, Jimmy Smith may be ready to hang up his cleats. Still, his influence on the franchise won't be so quickly forgotten. It appears that one wide receiver in particular still harbors hatred for him. When asked which cornerback in the league he detested 
tested playing against, former New England Patriots player Julian Edelman responded with Smith of the Ravens. Me and Jimmy, I remember him like I trained over at Exos in LA, and I remember him coming out, and he was really quick in and out of breaks, and I'm like, who's this dude? And then we started playing against each other, and that's when we were playing Baltimore like twice a year. He was a long guy. He was also kind of quick. He was patient at the line of scrimmage. He kind of knew how to, he kind of knew how to F with me. So I won my battles, but he won his. Up next, did the Ravens move up in the rankings? Let's share with you guys some other latest news regarding the Ravens. The AFC North leading Ravens 3-2, who defeated the defending AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals last Sunday night in a hard-fought victory, have moved up to the top five in several power rankings this week. Even while not all experts on power rankings think the Ravens should be that high, seven of the eight ranking systems we looked at place Baltimore in the top 10. Pete Prisco of CBS Sports is an exception, as he kept the Ravens at number 11. The Athletic and The Ringer have the Ravens at number 4, their highest position. In the latter's deep postseason contenders division, just below the best of the best, Baltimore is placed as the top team. Buffalo Bills, Kansas City Chiefs, Philadelphia Eagles. Up next, who are some of the best players of the Ravens other than Jimmy Smith? The Ravens are far from the NFL's most popular team because they have several divisive players, including Ray Lewis. Lewis and Lamar Jackson. In that spirit, we've put up a list of the Ravens players from 2022 that we think are the most endearing and engaging. Let's start with something simple, shall we? Coming in fourth, Mark Andrews, a tight end, quickly made friends with the Ravens organization once he arrived in Baltimore in 2018. However, his popularity with fans extends beyond simply his on-field performance. Andrews has created a stellar career over the last four years, breaking numerous NFL records and setting a career high of 1,300 161 receiving yards this past season. Coming in at third, James Proch's Twitter page is filled with motivational sayings and workout videos that show the young Ravens receiver's sincere, diligent side. Proch has been exerting himself to the hilt in preparation for the forthcoming campaign since that's what he does. He puts in a lot of effort when no one is looking and doesn't look for handouts. In addition to Mark Andrews, Marlon Humphrey is undoubtedly one of the most recognizable and likable players on the 2022 Ravens team. Humphrey, Chuck Clark, and Marcus Peters, who have all had distinguished five-year careers with the Ravens, make up the core of Baltimore's past defense. The two-time Pro Bowler put together a successful 2021 season, appearing in 12 games and recording 58 tackles, 13 passes defended, and one interception. Lastly, who's the very best on the team? Does Justin Tucker make you happy more than any other Ravens player? After setting multiple records throughout his 10-year career, the affable kicker has solidified his place in Ravens history and is already regarded as one of the all-time greats at his position. He's made 91% of his field goal attempts, been named to five first-team All-Pro teams, been selected to the Pro Bowl five times, topped the league in field goal completion percentage, 94.6, and converted all of his extra point attempts. Simply said, Tucker embodies the word clutch, and his cool, collected demeanor on the field makes him one of the team's most likable players. And this is all about today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Share your thoughts with us on Smith's retirement and also who's your favorite player on the Ravens. Subscribe to the channel if you have not and become a part of our YouTube family. Thanks for watching guys. We'll meet again soon. Goodbye.